national epidemic. It is very common these days. A nasty infection is causing big problems at hospitals around the country. We have trillions of bacteria in our body. Most are good, but some are bad, really yeah, the, bad. <laughs> yeah, the bad ones can make us really sick, especially if the medicine to kill them doesn't work. Channel 13's Megan Ruther shows us another option for one infection that's commonly passed around in hospitals. The story's new at five. Spend any time in the hospital and you'll hear about it. Well, see, this is an infection. So it is caused by a uh, bacterium that infects the human gut. And Clostridium difficile, known as C. diff, is something you do not want to get. People have a lot of pain, cramping, diarrhea, and, and actually can get quite ill from it. The traditional way to treat it has been with antibiotics. That will kill the C. diff, but unfortunately it also kills the good bacteria. That leaves patients open for recurrent infections, which leads to more pain, longer hospital stays, and possibly death. But there's an alternative to antibiotics. Fecal transplant. That's right, a fecal transplant. But before you say ew. For patients, uh, they're usually suffering very, very badly. They're almost universally, they're very happy to give this a try. Fecal transplants have been around for decades, but not very common. Two years ago, McFarland Clinic doctors started an innovative approach at Mary Greeley Medical Center in Ames after hearing how physicians made the process more efficient in Northern Europe. They found one donor to screen for disease, then freeze their samples. It's probably a Mary Greeley or McFarland employee, but it is totally anonymous. This is a single donor aliquot sample. The poo is processed, then frozen and stored until needed. When doctors prescribe a transplant, the lab tests the sample to make sure it's still good then it's prepared to be delivered as an enema in the patient's room. And that's very, very effective. And indeed, it works very, very quickly. Uh, the cure rate is around 90%, and usually it works within about 24 hours or so. 40 patients found relief with the treatments last year at Mary Greeley. Federal regulations only allow it in patients who have recurring infections for now. There's certainly a lot of demand for it because it is a, a, a not uncommon disease that people get and the treatments are very subpar right now except for the transplant. A transplant more patients may want one day once you get past the ick factor. In Ames, Megan Ruther, Channel 13 News. Wow, here's another interesting <laughs> point. The doctors say Mary Greeley was one of the first hospitals in the country to use a single donor system for fecal transplants. And here's another thing, there's no charge for the treatment there. Oh. We just learned something new about a, poo. A, a lot of something's <laughs> new.